In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Happy New Year to all of you, my viewers. What a time, what a year, what a year of new things. I'm glad to come your way again on green pastures. But in the year of new things, I'm coming up with new things. And um, the first new thing I'm coming up with is what I call wisdom capsule. You know, we have had uh, married tonic, we have had uh, feed vitamin. Uh, holy land prayers, holy land prophecies. And now God is taking us to a dimension of wisdom. And I call it wisdom capsule. Weekly I'll be coming your way. And to present you a capsule of wisdom. Because with wisdom you shall win this year. With God's power you will excel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is some weeks ago. I was reading Proverbs chapter 25. For my own personal devotion. And when I got to verse number two, something struck me in the heart. And what was that? The need to do a thorough search of God's word. So as to discover the beauty of the scripture, this was what was impressed upon my heart. And today I need to state that many believers, they just read the Bible without properly meditating upon the word of God. And thereby, they miss out the many blessings inherent in God's word. The Bible is full of many mysteries that are meant to minister to the human soul, especially to those who can discover them. The book of Proverbs is considered as a book of wisdom. And every verse of the book is meant to impart wisdom to the careful reader. While not all the Proverbs in the book of Proverbs came from the wisest man that ever lived, that is Solomon, this particular chapter, chapter 25, clearly is considered as one of his. The verse, I mean, the first verse introduces the author. And that is very clear. It says, the Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of King Ezekiah copied out. So there's no doubt about the author of this, of this chapter. What you have note is the fact that the King Ezekiah assisted the new king to be successful in his reign. The passage says, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing but the glory of kings is to search it out. While wisdom is profitable to all, I believe that leaders of people, kings, rulers, those who are in authority, they need wisdom far more than others. And may I also heard that if any man wants to be a successful leader, he must desire and he must use God's wisdom. Therefore, wisdom is profitable for all and sundry. The wisdom literature of the Old Testament consists of the books of Job, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and some other Psalms, like uh, Psalm 19, Psalm 37, Psalm 104, Psalm 147, and Psalm 148. This does not mean that the other books of the Bible do not contain wisdom. But the aforementioned books are categorized as books of wisdom. For they contain more wisdom for men. I'm praying for you that this year, wisdom will work with you. God will build you up with wisdom. And God's grace will sustain you. The wisdom in the book of Proverbs has to do with morality. Essentially, the knowledge that is required to live a life of impact. I have no doubt that you want to live a life of impact this year. Follow me every week as I come your way with wisdom caps. Actually, we are examining a book I wrote many years ago, almost 12 years now, which I titled The Seven Pillars of Wisdom. 
And as we go through this journey for the next few weeks, your life will be transformed. So like, come your way next week, get ready for an exciting time. This new year, true wisdom comes through. God bless you. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm.